somebody's daughter because nobody was going to give me a job. Uh, the biggest challenge was my mindset. Just simply getting employed. Learning to work in a man's world. Um, just being a normal human being. My two sons. A launching supper club which is basically where I indulge in my passion for cooking. And my family, my friends, the relationships that I build. My womanness. Um, I think you must think yourself as an equal with a male, don't think you require anything special or that you are inferior to a male. If there is any opportunity for you to show yourself and excel at something, take that opportunity because you may not get it again. Interest and curiosity, I think interest in oneself first and then interest in one's workplace. If you are interested in yourself, you will ensure that your learning and your skill set keeps growing and by that um, you'd be interested in ensuring that you have friends at work, friends outside work, um, a partner who supports you, um, even your children, all supporting you in your endeavour. You have to have an interest in achieving that. Women always bring a different viewpoint, maybe empathy, uh, they are more emotionally attuned. So, so that would help definitely uh, in, in any workforce. Well, it's this. Um, so when you look from a consumer point of view, 50% or more of our consumers are, uh, or even in the world, are, are women, right? If they are not represented in the workforce, you're making the wrong decision. However, on the other side, from a corporate style point of view, you need best talent as well and it so happens that some of the best are women. So to get that ecosystem, you have to slowly have more women in. It makes the best sense in terms of talent, it makes the best sense in terms of uh, revenue and economics because they are our consumers. I think it's really important to have female representation in the workforce because of um, the dynamic that changes when a woman's in a room or in a board meeting or you know, in just in any discussion is the empathy, um, the EQ, that women sort of bring to conversations and decision making that makes it more balanced. I think that's why it's important to have female representation um, in the workforce. Well, you walk this earth, your career is one part of it. Uh, end of the day, what you love is, as a person, you have few things you which makes you fulfilled, your mind, body and soul, right? And, and uh, in part of your mind is work, part of your mind is how you relate, have relationships and stuff. But work is a key part of it. If you don't love what you do, that negativity changes your whole person and how you look at your hap sense of fulfillment and happiness. Extremely. Um, if you're not passionate about what you do, it doesn't matter how qualified you are or how good you are at your job. You have to love what you do and that's what sort of brings um, the passion into what you do that's what defines you as uh, somebody who is different to the other person uh, and that's what sort of shows up capability as well um, so just loving what you do and makes you want to come back to work every day as well you want to get up and you know get going because you still love what you do and if you don't you know you just have no purpose thereafter So I think as uh, employers, we have a huge responsibility. So firstly, this whole aspect of uh, gender diversity, uh, increasing women uh, in leadership demands a change, right, in terms of both society as well as at the workplace. So one of the most important things is uh, organizations have to make sure that they sensitize their employees and their workforce. And what do I mean by sensitize? We have a lot of uh, what we call unconscious biases about what women can do, what men can do. And these unconscious biases influence our day-to-day decision-making. So as organizations, it's really important that we sensitize our population and work on eliminating these gender biases or unconscious biases. Whilst we do that, we have to bring in programs to support and nurture women. 
such as sponsorship, such as mentorship, where we are able to identify high potential ladies, work with them in mapping their careers, and give them the support where it's required. I think fundamentally and most importantly, there must be the mindset to bring in women to the workplace. And you must do it whether you believe it or not, because it's something that has to be done. Um, there are in many jurisdictions diversity requirements where there is a requirement to bring in 10% or, or a percentage of women into the workplace and that's frowned upon but I think that's very necessary. When you have women in the workplace it encourages other women to also be there. It encourages a culture of diversity. So I think that is fundamental that you have to just decide as a matter of policy that women must be part of my organization. Once you do that there's a lot you can do to support women.